So this is a bingo card generator in Microsoft Excel. Basically the way it works is you're going to type your words in one time and then hit the shuffle button many times and it's going to create unique cards for you. Bingo is one of the best board games for use in the classroom, yet it takes so long to create 20 or 30 unique cards. This template saves you all the time, allowing you to just type in one card and then generate all the others. So what I'm going to do first is just give you an example of how this works. I've opened up what's called Bingo 3x3, which is basically just three rows and three columns here for two cards on a page. And I'm going to come over here to where it says Sheep, and I'm going to type in, what I'm going to type in is the word, let's do the word tree. And then next to that, I'll do the word bush. And then next to that, I'll do the word flower. Bingo is a great game for the classroom because it can be used for vocabulary, math, whatever. You just type in your stuff into one card and then go from there. Now this is just uh, Microsoft Excel, so basically what I'm going to do is I can make things bigger, I can make them smaller, just like I would normally by clicking on the increasing the font size there. Now when I'm back here now to my overall board game, I'm ready to try this out. And basically the way it's going to work is when this prints, all you're actually going to see are these two cards right here. And so what I'm going to do is hit the shuffle button and what happens is the, now the word flower is moved over here and on the second one here the word flower is over here and the word tree is over there. I'm going to hit shuffle again and you can see what it's doing. There's tree and there's flower, there's bush, there's flower. It's generating two unique cards every time I hit shuffle. So the way it works is after you've typed in your one card here, you'll go to file and print. You'll print that out. You'll then go uh, hit shuffle button, file and print, shuffle, file and print, shuffle, file and print. You'll do this until you've got enough cards for your classroom. Um, basically about 10 minutes you can have a bingo game. Now a couple of notes about how you use these things. The, f uh, the first thing I'm going to tell you is that you do need to enable macros to use these uh, bingo card generators. And I'll give you a little tutorial on how to do that in just a second. But what I want to talk about first is actually what you do when you come to type on these cards. When you go to type on these cards, you're only going to type on this first card only the first card. Do not type on this second card because it's automatically generated. Down here below the first card are a couple of extra rows. You will also type in words into these to give it just a little bit of extra variety in order to create enough unique cards. Now once you've done that, you've typed in your words to the three rows here and the two extra ones below then all you do is hit shuffle and now you can do file and print, file and print. Um, the instructions for turning the macros on is different for Microsoft Office Excel version 2007 than it is for earlier versions of Office Microsoft Excel. So what I'm going to do is uh, show you how to do that in just a little bit in this tutorial. I also want to point out here down the lower left we have one to a page or two to a page. This two to a page basically allows you to create two bingo cards on one printed page. One to a page literally means we just have one card on one page. And also you'll notice here again are those two different rows underneath the bottom there that also need to be filled in but will not print when it comes time to print it. Um, the gist of this here is that I got a lot of feedback that said we need bigger squares so that we can put longer words or phrases into. So this is in response to that because when you're in the two, two cards to a page mode, you really are pretty constricted to get your words or phrases into these squares. If you need some more room, want to make something even bigger, then you can do this and you can put it over here into just one on a page and you can make things as big as you want. Works the exact same way if I type the word tree here and hit shuffle. It's going to generate a couple of different cards each time that would allow me to then um, print them out. I noticed there I did have to click outside of the cell in order for the shuffle button to work there. And as long as I was in that same cell, I thought I was still typing and wouldn't let me shuffle. But now you can see every time I hit shuffle, it generates a new card each time. 
In addition to the 3x3, you also have a 4x4 and a 5x5 game cards out there that you can download. The 4x4, is they, they, they all work exactly alike. You type everything into the first card on the left over here, including the two rows that are added for extra variety at the bottom. Hit shuffle and it'll mix them up. The only difference is these are a little bit longer games. When you have only a 3x3 game board, you can go through bingo pretty quickly. When you have a 4x4 and a 5x5, it takes a little longer to do that. Also, again, down at the lower left, you can flip between the sheets of the Excel spreadsheet and see that there's a one to card to a page, which again has four squares, but now you have a lot more room to type or make things bigger inside of those squares than you did in the two to a page um, version. I want to talk just for a second about how to enable macros in order to make the shuffle button work in these bingo card generators. In Office 2007, it's actually pretty easy. When you open any one of these bingo card files, you'll notice that there's a security warning right here. It says macros have been disabled. You click the options button right there and you choose enable this content and you click OK. Once you've done that, the generator is now ready to work. You just simply go at it. You'll have to do that each time. It's not a setting that it will remember, but it's pretty easy because that's all you have to do, and then from there on, it'll work. If you do not choose Enable, the, gen the generator will not work. To enable macros in Office 2003 or earlier, go to the Tools menu. After you click Tools, go down and find Macro. From the macro selection, choose security. That's tools, macro, security. Then choose the medium setting and click OK. You will now need to close the program and then reopen it. Once you close the program and reopen it, it will now reopen with the new macro settings in place. It should prompt you if you want to disable or enable macros and you will choose enable. You will now be able to type and use the um, shuffle button just as you should be able to.